What is up, my people? We about to have a lot of fun, a whole bunch of interviews, and do some crazy stuff. Well, maybe not too crazy. Let's do this. Nerd soul. So right now I'm um, coming up with characters for a new book. Uh, and I generally start with the main character, sort of get his shape first. So I've been playing with different shapes of uh, character bodies, and character heads. You know, I, you know, usually lose, use a, a light pencil to start with, so I can get loose with it, do all the construction lines. So this character, you know, he's a kid, and I originally wanted him to be like meek, okay, and uh, sort of shy. So I did originally did like a big head, you know, <laughs> a really tiny body, but he also has to wrestle these creatures, so I didn't oh. want him to be too skinny. Or else the audience would be like, oh, no, he's going to snap in half. So. <laughs> so then I thought it'd be funny to do like a husky kid like me, basically. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, the more I was like doodling him, the more he sort of looked like me as a kid. <laughs> so yeah, generally get the shape. Now, when it comes to like drawing characters, how much of yourself do you put in them? Like, is there something where it's like, hey, you know, I personally like people with big ears, so I draw people with big ears. Yeah. Or, <laughs> or is it, you know, what, what is it something from your, from your experience or from your bias that you try to put in each one? Um, yeah, that's a good question. Because um, you tend to gravitate towards, you know, similar looking characters. You really have to push yourself to like, like think outside the box. Usually, like, uh, okay. Uh, so I try to do that with every book, basically. Like my first book, Buffalo Speedway. Uh, you know, the characters are still cartoony, but you know, somewhat realistic proportions. Yeah. Sort of normal. Like the, the animation proportions looking. make sense. Yeah. In, yeah, in the context of it takes place what... in the real world. Yes. Whereas something like Hero Hotel, you know, you get a little bit more stylized. So this character Chet, you know, just a normal kid, sort of like a little nerdy kid. You know, he's a fan of superheroes, then he gets to meet superheroes and sees that they're jerks. So. <laughs> That's sort of his arc. But yeah, I try to come up with sort of iconic shapes. Oh, okay. Yeah. So then, you know... And then you, from that shape, you can kind of do whatever you want. Yeah. Yeah. And then, like, the people around him, you try to do different shapes that complement that main character. <laughs> so, like, I wanted this kid, because he's going to have to wrestle, have lots of fluffy things. So, like, he can bounce <laughs> off a wall and doesn't get hurt. I want him to wrestle, but I don't want him to have to wear like safety gear. You know? <laughs> so it has to look like he's got, you know, padding. He's got he's got the padding built in. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Makes sense. Makes yeah. sense. So yeah. So sort of play around with shapes like that. Yeah, that's sort of the normalish version. Now, are you one of those artists where it all comes back? to shapes for you? Are you someone who's very, very heavy on anatomy um, and uh, like the very specific look of it? Yeah, it's funny, like, cause you have to almost, you start with, you know, the anatomy being correct and then you can get a little weirder with it. Like I've noticed, you know, there's a trend now, you know, to do like, weird shaped pupils yeah, and like the nose up here and like tiny mouth, you know, <laughs> you know, you can, you can start to play with, you know, messing around with like the form, but oh, it, okay. in general, it needs to sort of, you know, make sense make in sense. context yeah. of how tall the character is or how wide the character is, yeah. Yeah, yeah. you know, and all of that good stuff. Yeah. So you're out here at the con. When it comes to getting your booth and preparing and bringing your books, 
What's the process for that? Uh, yeah, so getting the table, usually there's an open submission period where you fill out an application for uh, an artist alley table. That's uh, one of the cheaper tables. Uh, mm -hmm. And it's usually like, you know, roped off in a section called Artist Alley. Yeah. And that's, those are the ones I usually try to aim for. Because there people know what they're getting in for. Yeah, they so know they're coming around. to look for yeah. uh, artists that are either doing books or doing yeah. prints or creating something cool for themselves. Yeah. And then people get a kick out of like meeting the artists. Yeah, yeah. Whereas like sometimes I'll get a table at Small Press and that's a little bit bigger uh, and it has like a backdrop. But that one, it's sort of a crapshoot. You don't know who you're going to be next to. Yeah. The people walking by don't generally think you're the one who drew it or wrote it. <laughs> yeah. So All it's, right. It's understood. Yeah. Understood. Understood. Yeah. But uh, yeah, and then just uh, in terms of getting your stuff here, you know, you just have to lug everything yourself. <laughs> yeah. So no, no uh, special team for you. No. no. The more people you have to pay, the less profit you have. Ah, so, good yeah. point. Good point. Yeah. Yeah. But fortunately, I've built up a you know reputation uh, with uh, the comic book store, the Comic Bug, yeah. and the guy that owns it, Mike Wellman, and so he has a section that's just for like his favorite artists. Yeah. So uh, yeah, so this table was free. And big shouts to the Comic Bug. You know, yeah, yeah. A very uh, a friend to everyone who's watching right now, a friend of the show, exactly. a very big friend of the show. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, this table was free. So. Always like free. It's dope. It's dope. That's all one. Yeah. So yeah, it's uh, you know, fill every page with doodles, so you sort of find that one that, that fits. Play with boxy shaped heads. I've also been playing with like this kid having permanently like having a band you know band aid on his nose. <laughs> Yeah, it's just finding until it's almost like you're looking for a friend in a crowd and then you oh, okay. recognize his face. And then you're like, that's the one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And it really comes into play when you're like, when you finish the eyeballs, I feel like. That's the big one. Okay, hey, okay. Good, how are you? Good. Yeah, yeah. That's right. It's about a kid who works at a hotel for superheroes. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But he finds out when the heroes are on vacation, they're total jerks. Uh -huh. Yeah, they're super messy, they trash their rooms. <laughs> he has to deliver their food. He has to do their laundry. Imagine <laughs> doing Spider-Man laundry. That'd be gross. <laughs> yeah. Pretty neat, the art looks really good. Thank you. Yeah, I wrote it and drew it. And then I had friends of mine do little backup stories. So there's like a little mini story about them working the valet stand. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's so imagine trying to valet park the Batmobile. How stressful that would be. Yeah. Uh, this one's a little more R-rated. It's oh, about it? pizza delivery drivers. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it all takes place on one day on the busiest pizza day in history. Okay. <laughs> that was a great setup. Thanks. I you have to come up with that concept. Yeah. Well, I lived the I lived the life. Oh, I was a pizza delivery driver. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. great. It's a little bit different style. I like seeing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just telling him, like, yeah. You yeah. sort of fit the style to the story. Yeah. Because it takes place in the real world as yeah. opposed to, like, something like Hero Hotel. It's really cool. Thanks. I'm going to read for myself, not him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but those two are all ages. No, no, no. This is actually pretty good. Oh, okay. Sort of like explaining like the process of like setting up a table. Oh, that's what you're doing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, at the moment, would like to do one of these too. I just got started. Oh, yeah. Um, long process for you. Uh, well, yeah. So this one was three volumes to start out with. Yeah. And there was a small indie show in Austin, Texas that I wanted to do. Yeah. So like, it was like, I was there the year before and I was like, okay, by next year, I want to have the first volume, okay. so I sort of found some printers and I like asked like, okay, what's the turnaround time? And I sort of worked my way back from that deadline. Gotcha. Yeah, oh, and it was good. good. It, made, it made me stick to that deadline, which was good. Which was what? Was it? Uh, 
it, it was a small press, you know, small press, and you know, usually if you have to ship it, you know, to China, it's like a three month, you know, turnaround time. Three months, yeah, that's what I would have guessed. Yeah, so this one, this guy turned it around in three weeks. Wait, you didn't give yourself three weeks to have it done? Right? No, 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 no. Okay. I, I gave myself a year. Okay. And then like yeah. calculated like how many pages I needed to get done to right. get it to the printer. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Good for you. Thanks. Yeah, that's really good. How do you say your name? Yehudi. Yehudi. Yeah. Just like it's just like it's spelled, right? Yeah. Well, I'm Rob. Thank you for Rob. talking to me about it. Oh yeah, no problem. Let's see it around and we'll be back by. Okay. Well, great stuff. Thanks. Cops versus cops. That's right, mortal enemies. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, that actually gives you a good encapsulation of what it's like to be selling at a table. Okay, okay. By the end of a long show, like one of like uh, New York Comic Con where it's like four days, you start to hate giving that pitch, that same pitch over and over. So, but, uh, but yeah, it's all right. Cool, cool. Yeah. Well, thanks for spending some time with us. Yeah. Uh, I hope you guys that draw and, you know, are getting into making your own books got a nice little piece of that something that you can you know find some value in but of course from us to you this is us saying peace